I don't know if Islamophobia is the right term because they use other terms for other religions. But when it comes to Islam, when it comes to Muslims, it becomes Islamophobia. It doesn't sound as threatening. I mean, break it down. Islamophobia, Islamophobia, fearful of Islam. I mean, are these people really just fearful of Islam? Some of the people, especially online, the messages that I get, these people don't fear Islam. They hate Islam and they hate the people that follow this religion. It should be called something like anti-Muslim, anti-Islam, Muslim haters, Islam haters, um, anti-Islamism, anti-Islamism. That, could that go? But when it comes to Islam, it's always debated. It's debated in government. Is there Islamophobia? People have got away with such disgusting behavior towards Islam in government. Boris Johnson, how many terms did he use to criticize our religion, to criticize our women, our men, our faith, became prime minister? No repercussions of his language. He wasn't canceled. In fact, he was pushed up the ladder. I want you to be aware of the language that is being used against Muslims. And we need to protect ourselves and be aware of this. We need to make sure our voices are heard and we need to also make sure we protect ourselves and our family members because there are certain beings out there that have pure hatred towards us. I'm not fearful of them, but I'm vigilant for my loved ones. Stick together, protect each other, raise your voices, don't be scared, but be vigilant. Assalamu alaikum, take care.